Okay guys, welcome back to Emmett Science Corner. In today's video, we're going to actually be making a, what, what do you call it? A, oh, a magnet compass. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's get to it. One thing that I forgot to get to tell you guys, these magnets. You need a magnet. And then so you have to rub the needle on one end of the magnet 50 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay, now you have to put the cap into the bowl and put this on top. If you want, you can um, get tape and tape it onto the cap. I'm not doing that. I'm actually flipping the cap over so it's easier for this to stay onto the cap. So wait, and it automatically turns more. That means that is more fast. Okay, as you can see, the north is there, and that's bit off, but it's still pointing um, in the middle of north and west. So it's near the north. So it worked. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the notes I took on my scientific tablet. Did you guys know Earth is a giant magnet? A compass is just a magnet that is free to move so it can align with the Earth's magnetic field. The bowl of water provides a low friction surface for the needle to float and turn freely, exposing the iron needle to the strong <laughs> magnetic field. The magnet lies Magnet lines up the spin of electrons expose um, <laughs> the needles, iron atoms, which creates a magnetic field over time. Spinning electrons will fall out of line. Then you need to recharge your. Then you need to recharge your hamster. What? compass needle each time you use it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This was only like our fourth video so far, but remember, there's a lot more to go. Bye. Well, what happens if you use a paper clip instead of a needle? Well, it says here that what if you hung a needle by a thread inside of a jar so you can carry your compass around without spilling the water? How else will that improve the design of this compass? Well, I don't know. How about we think about it? 